Hello, my friends. All right, sorry, guys. <laughs> um, welcome to another tutorial. Um, all right, what are we going to be doing today? We're going to be showing you one of, one of what I think is the best YouTube browser extensions for XBMC Kodi for um, um, the Chrome web browser. So that's it. So obviously you will need Chrome. So if you don't have Chrome, get Chrome. What is Chrome? Chrome is this little thing here. I don't know if you're seeing it. Yeah. All right. I know you feel stupid. Anyways. All right. So you must have Chrome in order to get this extension. All right. And this is one of the best browser extensions for the, the XBMC Kodi. Um, how to control your xbmc from your computer to how to send videos to it and stuff there's a whole ton of browser extensions and most of them if you ask me they are not that good anyway let's get into it so what you simply need to do you're in your chrome you click on uh, 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 it is getting extensions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you click on settings tap 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 and you click on extensions there we go all right this is a list of all your extensions you won't see the one that you want here i tried stream xbmc not going to complain about it but it wasn't that good so you click on get more extensions all right that's where my fingers are get more extensions you click on that and i'm going to tell you what to search on search for you're going to be searching for play on Cody or is it play on XBMC it's one of them okay there it is play on Cody you should see this little TV and you should see that and you click on it's pretty simple add to Chrome do so you want to add to 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 this new extension blah 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 you click add and that's pretty much simple it's been added all right let's get into configure it because once you have it you will need to configure it so you click on this that little wheel like thing and then it's going to ask you to put in your url your port your username is optional and your password is optional Personally, I don't keep a username or a password. I'm not expecting persons to hack into my code here, my XBMC, and see what great movies I have. Please. Anyways, so what you're going to do is put in your IP address and your port. The default port for code is normally 80. And your URL is what, or, or your IP address is whatever your, your code is, really. And if you don't know, and I'm pretty sure you don't know, the easiest way to find out is using your Yahtzee remote. And more than likely, if you've seen my review of the Yahtzee remote, you know what I'm talking about. So here's my phone. You're looking at the top and you will see, let me bring it into focus. This number right here, it's kind of submerged here. That's going to be your IP address for your XBMC. You just need to put it in. Yours is going to be different, so don't worry if you can't see mine. It's not like you're coming to my house anyway. So, <laughs> not without an invite at least. You put in... I'm typing slow, so bear with me. You put in your IP address and your port. Mine's 80. Yours your should be 80. And then you click this blue button, which is save. Yep, it actually says save as well. <laughs> you understand? And then when you click on your little TV guy up here, you should say connecting. Hold on, it's saying it's not connected. What's going on here? Let me see if I put this thing in correctly. Oh, I missed an 8. <laughs> All right. Save again. And when you click on this guy, hold on, click in. Ah, you see, it's nice and gray. What can you do with this thing? All right, you can do a lot of amazing stuff. We're at YouTube, and if you want to play a YouTube video, you just, what's this, right click, and you can show an image. It says show an image here. I don't know if you can see, or we have to zoom in a little bit. 
yep it says show an image or if you click on the video which I'm clicking on the video here video here what you will do is and you right click again you should see play yes it says play you see the play now cue or play this next and if you click play now you'll hear my media center playing in the background because it will be playing now then you can simply go up here which is yeah bringing it up here to this little thing and you can actually pause or you can play or you can do whatever Mine's still saying it's disconnected. I don't know what's going on with my media center, but it works. Anyways, moving right along. What else can you do? You can actually go to um, Torrent sites and play directly from the sites. Let's go to Yiffy. Is it? Yeah, Yiffy Torrent. Yeah, that's it. Not supporting watching Torrents here or whatever, but I'm just saying you can if you want to. And what you'd simply do is, I think I should make a tutorial on how to do that. But what you can do is send directly whatever it is to your player directly. I'm checking out you how you use this thing. <laughs> you just find the link and send it. Mm, okay, I think I'm going to be doing a... Uh, uh um tutorial next on that but basically in essence it's the best Kodi extension you can have on your computer all it requires is that you have um you have chrome installed and then you just simply get the extension and it is once again play on Kodi. some uh, i picked up again so that's how it is sometimes um that's it and basically, thanks for watching, guys. If this video has been helpful, I know you guys have been searching for a browser extension and there's a lot of crap out there. There's a lot of stuff that don't do half of what this thing does. So, subscribe, comment, let me know what's what. And if you need, if you need a...